Hey everybody, so I've got a really cool set for you today. This is one that Lionel cataloged back in 2019, and I originally passed on it and then later regretted that decision, and I've been looking to pick one up ever since. And so a few weeks ago, I finally bit the bullet and got one, and here it is. This is the Lionel 3-Rail O-Scale Santa Fe Gold Bonnet Set, and we're going to check it out right now on Eric's Trains. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we've got here. And this is a huge box, so my apologies if the unboxing is a bit clumsy at times. So it says here the set includes a Legacy PA, three 21-inch coach cars, and one 18-inch baggage car. Very cool. It's got Bluetooth, of course, and Legacy. All right, locomotive and four passenger cars. We'll do the passenger cars first. Finish with the locomotive as the grand finale. So here's one of the passenger cars. This is the baggage car. Santa Fe Gold Bonnet Baggage Car number 3514. Flicker free LED lighting. Die cast trucks 054 minimum curve. The other day on the Eric's Trains discord server which if you're not a member of the eric's trains discord server feel free to join but someone was saying that they really miss the lionel extruded aluminum passenger cars that they used to make and i miss those too but in all practicality i think the 21 inch cars and i guess this is an 18 inch car i think they're a little more easier to manage Okay, so these are the mounting pads if you want to put scale couplers on the cars. Those aluminum cars were very nice, but they were also very problematic in my opinion. The trucks were problematic. And if you wanted to get inside those things, it was incredibly difficult. Whereas with these, it's four screws and you're inside. So adding passengers to these cars is no big deal. So while I love the old aluminum passenger cars, you know, I'm okay with the 21 inch cars. I think they're very well made and very easy to work on and much more dependable. So there's the baggage car. Got die cast metal sprung trucks there. Very cool. Love the gold trucks. <laughs> okay, so this is one of the coach cars. Big 21 inch car. There that is. <laughs> Looks awesome. One of the reasons that I'm so happy to finally get this is that up until now I haven't had any streamlined, fluted Santa Fe passenger cars in my fleet. And I've always wanted some, and so this is a start. <laughs> So because these other two 21 inch passenger cars are pretty much exactly the same as the one you just saw, I'll open up these off camera and we'll skip right to the locomotive. Oh, look at that. Got our directions. Of course, the fact that this is 036 doesn't really help much because the cars are 054. So if you want to run the set, you got to have 054 or larger. I'm so excited to see this. I've wanted this for so long. Oh yeah. There it is. So it looks pretty similar to the red Lionel Santa Fe PA set that I already have. Although there might be a couple differences. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. But man, that looks gorgeous. Solid gold, baby. Very nice. 
so stoked to finally have this in my collection. So let's get it up on the layout. All right. So as I said in the intro, Lionel cataloged this in their 2019 volume one catalog. And when I first saw it in the catalog, like a lot of people, I'm sure, I thought this was a fantasy paint scheme that Lionel had just conjured up out of thin air. But it turns out it's actually based on a real Santa Fe train that did exist, albeit very briefly. So in February of 1960, the Santa Fe took one of their Alco PAs along with a baggage car and three lounge cars, and they painted it up for the General Electric Golden Values promotion. Yeah, it was a promotion for General Electric done in Southern California. Now, when I heard the term Golden Values promotion, I thought, well, maybe they were promoting the Golden Values of the GE company or something something like that. But no, it was much simpler than that. Golden Values was actually a product line of appliances that GE was making at the time. And you can find catalog images of the Golden Values product line. And of course, the appliances were gold in color. Like you might remember if you grew up in the 70s and you had a gold washer or dryer or gold refrigerator, or maybe your grandmother had something like that. So yeah, it was all about the Golden Values appliance product line. And so this train was painted up in gold for a few weeks to do the promotion and then after that it was returned to the normal Santa Fe colors so the Golden Values gold bonnet train only existed for a few weeks in the real world, which makes it really cool that Lionel chose to model such an obscure train. Although modeling this train was really easy for Lionel because they didn't have to create any new tooling. They used their existing Alco PA diesel and their existing 21 inch passenger cars. And all they did was do a special paint scheme. And because of that, other than the paint scheme, there really isn't much different between this Santa Fe stuff and other Santa Fe stuff that Lionel has made in previous years. Although so there is one little difference on the Alco PA, and I'll talk about that when we take a closer look at the locomotive. So the original retail price on this set in the 2019 Volume 1 catalog was right at $1,000. I think it was $999.99, which was quite a lot of money in 2019. And even today in 2023, it's still a good chunk of change. However, given everything that's happened over the last few years and in the context of where we are here in 2023, where everything is more expensive, you can just go down to your local grocery store to see that. $1,000 isn't as much as it used to be. And the fact that these things sold for $1,000 actually looks a little better in the context of 2023. And the reason I'm telling you this is because as of the time I'm filming this video, which is September 2023, you can still buy these sets brand new in the box on Amazon for that original $1,000 price tag, which again, in the context of where we are now, I think is a pretty good deal. Because here's the thing, these sets will never be that inexpensive again, not for this exact configuration of set. If they do a set like this again or something similar, Lionel will do one of two things. They'll either charge you $1,000 but give you less train, i.e. maybe two passenger cars instead of four, or they'll give you the locomotive and all four passenger cars like we have here, but they'll charge more for it, maybe 12, 13, $1,400. So knowing that, hey, yeah, that original $1,000 price tag is starting to look a little more attractive. And the fact that you can still get it for that original price on Amazon, I think is a great deal. And it was one of the reasons I finally decided to pull the trigger on this set. Now I'm no salesman. I'm not trying to tell you to buy one these sets and in fact it makes no difference to me whatsoever if you buy one or if you don't it's not like i get a commission if you buy one so you can do whatever you want but i think it's a good deal and so i just want to put that information out there in the universe and you can do with it whatever you want anyway let's get some stats on this thing so the length is right at 16 inches and we'll get the weight now this thing has an abs plastic shell die cast metal trucks, truck side frames, and a die cast metal pilot, die cast metal fuel tank, and then a sheet metal frame. So it's got a decent weight. It's not gonna be as heavy as a steam locomotive, but oh, I'm gonna guess maybe four and a half, maybe five pounds. Let's see. All right, moment of truth. And four pounds, 5.7 ounces, not bad. Now in the catalog and on the box, it states the minimum required curve needed to operate this set and this locomotive is 054. And I measured the pulling power on this and it came in at one pound, 10 ounces, which is okay. It's not great, but it's not terrible either. With one pound, 10 ounces of pulling power, this thing should be able to pull maybe 25, 30 cars at most, which isn't bad at all. And of course, if you need more power, you can just do what the real railroads do and add more diesel locomotives. Now, if you've been watching my channel, 
channel for a while, you probably know that I have more than one Alco PA in my collection, and here they are. So I've got three examples here. I've got the gold bonnet that's brand new. I've got a regular Santa Fe PA. This was offered in the catalog immediately before the gold bonnet, the 2018 volume two catalog. And it was part of an AA set. This is the lead unit number 54. And then I've got a nickel plate road PA. And this was part of an ABA set that was offered back in 2015. It had two PAs and one PB. And I'm showing you all three of these to highlight some differences, some really cool differences because Lionel did some road name specific details to set these apart. So first of all, if you compare the nickel plate road and the regular Santa Fe, you can see there's a couple little differences. First of all, the placement of the number boards on the side of the nose, those are different, and the positioning of the marker lights. Now, the Santa Fe didn't use these number boards, but the position of that whole assembly is different between the two. And then up on the roof, the nickel plate road unit has a different horn that's in a different spot than the Santa Fe units. And also, since the Santa Fe didn't use those number boards on the sides of the nose, on the Santa Fe units, they've got a number board up on the roof between the two windows, which looks really cool. And then if we do a side-by-side -side comparison between the normal Santa Fe number 54 and the gold bonnet number 53, there's a couple other differences. So for one, the horn on the gold bonnet looks different than the horn on the regular number 54. And also on the roof of the gold bonnet, we've got this antenna assembly. At least I think it's an antenna. It's this little metal thing standing off the roof. And both of those are true to the prototype, the real number 53 gold bonnet, which means that Lionel was really paying attention. And it's really cool that they added these little touches just to make it that much more realistic. And then beyond the differences up front, if we move back, the two Santa Fe units are pretty much identical with the same features and details. So that does it for the locomotive. The last thing we'll do is take a quick look at the passenger cars before we take this thing for a spin. So as you saw during the unboxing, there are four passenger cars, and these are the now tried and true Lionel 21 inch passenger cars. Well, all except for the baggage car here, that's 18 inches. So they have this nice fluting down the sides, which the Santa Fe passenger car should have. And they've got die cast metal trucks and couplers, and these are painted gold to match the locomotive. They look really sharp. Now I've modified these cars by adding passengers and cargo. So if I open up the door on the baggage car, I've got some boxes and so forth in there. And if we scoot down, here's the first passenger car. And as you can see, there are the passengers that I added. I added passengers to all three of these cars. When you get these out of the box, they don't come with passengers. You have to add them on your own, but it's easy to do. I did a video a few years ago about how to add passengers to these cars. If you want to watch that, I'll put a link to it in this video. But yeah, these passenger cars look great. They've got nice LED lighting with constant voltage so they don't flicker while they go around the layout. You know, if there's an interruption current or you go over some dirty track, the lights don't flicker. They stay on the whole time. They look great. So this is car number 3135. Then we've got car number 3138 here. We've got soft rubber diaphragms between the cars. They look really nice. And then pulling up the end, we have number 3140. So yeah, these things just look great and they run great as well. As I said, Lionel's 21 inch passenger cars are kind of tried and true at this point. They've been making them for a while now and they just work. All right, now comes the fun part. Let's power this thing up. This is a dispatcher, do you copy? I copy that, over. Start up and get ready to move, over. Yes, sir, we'll fire her up, out. Okay, first up, let's check out the horn and bell. And let's check out a sampling of the crew talk sounds. Uh, dispatcher, my fuel's full. Am I cleared to the outbound? Over. Roger, your track is clear. Dispatcher, over. Dispatcher here, take the green. Over. Copy that, dispatcher. I'm green. Out. Tower, can we move yet? Over. Signal indication, over. Gotcha, dispatcher. Waiting for a clear. Out. Dispatcher here, you're cleared outbound, over. Roger that, here we go, out.
dispatcher. Out. All right, so there you have it. The Lionel 3-Rail O-Scale Santa Fe Gold Bonnet Set from 2019. This is such a gorgeous train, and I'm so thrilled to finally have one of these in my collection. And you know what? There's some other trains that I've had on my to-get list for a while that I've been working on acquiring, and I'll be doing videos on those in the future as well. So keep an eye out for all those videos. Now, if you'd like to support this channel, I would greatly appreciate it. That can be done through Patreon at patreon.com slash Eric's Trains. Patreon supporters get access to all sorts of perks and benefits and you can read about those benefits on my Patreon page. I'd like to put a big thank you out there to all of my current Patreon supporters. Your support means the world not only to me but to the future of this channel. And an extra super big thank you goes out to my premium tier Patreon supporters. You'll see their names at the end of this video. Anyway, that's going to do it for now. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'm Eric Siegel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.